Hello, everyone. Just doing a quick video today. We're going to talk about some of the basics, a little bit more advanced stuff with your farm. It won't be like too advanced stuff. We're still kind of intermediate. I'm still in chapter four, as you can see. But I figured, hey, let's talk about how you can improve your farm above and beyond the way this the, the kind of teaches you at the beginning. The first is going to be your story progression. You're going to unlock at the start of chapter three the fire fairy who you get to name and then as you complete each of the three main parts of chapter three you'll unlock a different fairy so you can see i've got you know there's the fire fairy somewhere around here there's the wind fairy the water fairy got the earth fairy over here and yes they're trying to talk over me but as you get each one Within about a day or so, oh, or usually actually the same day you get them, but with the, the fire fairies, I think the next day, you'll unlock this fairy orders book where you have, you know, your great fire fairy, great winds, water, etc. And as you can see with mine, I've got, hey, I fished a hundred times. Well, I complete this quest here and it goes towards unlocking presidents. That's one way you upgrade it, is this is going to get you things as you complete it, getting you, you know, um, upgrades to your farm, such as with this one, you can see farm level up up here. When your level goes up on your farm or the various biomes, which I'll get to in a moment, that increases your chances of getting quality stuff. They've only got two tiers of quality in this. Uh, we can represent over here my storage box you know the regular black background and then your gold background your quality ones that are as you can see slightly higher you know what they do you know more hit points in this case of the picnic sandwiches better stamina boosts that kind of thing so having increasing your farm level helps a lot with getting those things so like when you look at your encyclopedia you can see you know ingredients cooking etc they look twice as big as they actually are because they each tier of quality of your regular and your high quality ones are two separate entries in there um so as you you know grow or progress that's how you get those the fairy orders thing is also how you're going to get, let's see if I can show in here, smokers. Oh, there's smoker level two recipe. Your little production things, which you can build over here at the crafting table. And if you come right here to, this is where you get you know, your flour mills, fermenting barrels, your feed, cheese makers, all the different things, even including your sprinklers that you do to you know, help out around the farm or convert things because you'll have stuff like pepper or curry or like your eggs and milk that you convert into other ingredients. The third way that you kind of upgrade your farm is, let's go over to Lethe, is with the Renovator, who, yes, his name is and always will be Renovator. Uh, this game is not like uh, Story of Season, Stardew Valley, Rune Factory. A lot of the games it gets compared to, um, simply because, well, this one focuses more on the action RPG aspects, and more specifically the JRPG aspects, and less on the uh, farming life sim aspects. So unless a character is actually important, oh, that's not. They don't have uh, a name to them, and even characters that you do get names of, I won't reveals you know spoilers on that but there's a character in a series of side quests in one of the cities where you later learn what his name is but he's still only ever revealed as his title so yes smithy the, the blacksmith will always be known as smithy the renovator will always be known as renovator but here's where you come here to upgrade uh he's got four different upgrades i believe Maybe a fifth one over time. Uh, we'll take a look here in a minute. The first one is your kitchen counter, which is how you do all your cooking. The other three, which I think are the ones he has now. Let's take a look. 
are, yep, your farm size, which increases the size of your thing. You saw how big my plot of land was compared to everyone else uh, what we start with, plus your pens for your club owls and your wolves, which are basically your chickens and your goats. So you come here to ham. You also can come to, of course, the general store for your crops and seeds. There's a general store in every city. Um, Lethe will change what it has. So, for example, in spring, you had like carrot seeds and all that. But now, after the midfall, I've got the more corn, the onions, stuff that actually grows in the current season. Um, as opposed to like the spring ones, which were like just your dress lettuce, your carrots, your grass, etc. As you unlock other things, like you'll, we'll get to the biomes here, you'll unlock, you know, cave and water seeds elsewhere, as well as you'll have your plant, your uh, tree seeds. We'll get into those here in a minute. But as we're talking biomes, ever, after you unlock two fairies, and it's not just any two fairies, it's, it's two specific fairies, you will get different biomes around the farm. There's two different biomes. Each one is created for you by a specific pair of fairies. So, as you have, well, there's basically three effective places for farming, and your seeds will tell you what they, where they can be farmed. So, let's come back here and look at my seeds. It says on the farm, farm crop, etc. These are the ones that grow in the main area where you develop your farm throughout your different seasonal wants. That's out here. Once you've got your water and wind fairies, they will unlock the water side biome, which is one of the teleports you have access to early on. We're on the map. That's way over here. You can see where I'm at on the far right. Yeah, this is where I, in the video, when I'm free in the evenings and still have a little energy, I come over here. And it allows you to come out here to this little crop plant. You can't expand the size of it, but there's not a lot of plants you can place here. The nice advantage is they do grow all three seasons. There's no like just spring, just summer, just fall ones that I found so far, including these Lococo nuts, which are trees. Trees do not die in between seasons, whereas everything else, even if it's a recurring uh Harvest seed across two seasons. So, for example, the Nemean tomatoes that grow in spring and summer, they will die when quietus comes, even if they're recurring. And I'm kind of all over the place, I'm aware. But these ones up here, like you've got your trees, if those will grow up there. There's other ones you can put up here. Um, what I found so far is mostly just stuff for like desserts. It's a uh, Type of flower that doesn't recur, and the. Should we come back and I'll find them? For my box. So I'll go check it there. Let's see. They are. What grows there? The Lococo nuts, which you can do to make coconut juice or coconut milk, which I don't think I have any. But you can also grow honey flowers, which turn into syrup and. Oh, the curry herbs. There we go. Down here, the nectar cane, which turns into sugar when you process them. Your other one, I'll now run there to show you where it's at, is going to be your cave. This rock out back here gets de destroyed once you have saved the earth fairy, because you're always going to have the fire fairy already. And that gives you the cave biome, where you can grow, so far I found pseudor peppers, which are kind of like your red peppers. Revel pepper, which are like peppercorns, you grind those into making the black pepper, and curry herbs, which you grind into turning the pepper or the curry powder. There's also, you know, a little pool here, etc. The nice thing about the two biomes is one, you never have to water water anything in them. The ones that you plant in the cave biome are very specifically stated as they like dry places. They never need to be watered. And of course, the water biome, as you saw, it's underwater. I don't have anything planted here, though, right now, other than my two trees. Uh, like I said, trees 
most of the plants will die at the end of the season. You have 30 days to each season, and then one day of quietus. So even stuff like, for example, I've got eggplant here, which is regrowing, uh, rainbow beans are regrowing, etc. cetera. Uh, your Nemean tomatoes will be your first ones in spring. Those will die at the end of the season when it starts to be the uh, new, when it's quiet as happens. Trees like these, like the, the group of grapes, the mumble lemons, princess chestnuts, here, the snow cap mecons, the lococo nuts that I've got up there, those will survive through quietus. Now, that said, you can see I'm like the middle of the month here, and I've got things like my rainbow beans, I had to replant these because the ones that will say they continually grow, so your cucumbers can be reharvested, Nemean tomato seeds can be reharvested, straw buddies can be reharvested, etc. These ones actually only have a can be reharvested so many times. It's not like Stardew Valley or Room Factory where they'll just keep regrowing. Actually, maybe it is kind of like Rune Factory. With Rune Factory, your soil has a health level, and so do your plants, and once they reach a certain point, they stop regrowing. If that's a, a factor in this game, I have not seen any evidence of it, but that's a good example of, you know, after, you know, four or five or three, whatever, harvests, everything dies, that you're reharvestables can be reharvested. Now that said, in addition to the biomes and the crafting the things that you unlock from the fairies, which is going to be your main source of upgrades, you also get things like that. You see this plow skill here, stamina down. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'll just go into my keys. Things. They upgrade basically the various tools you have. So like the fire fairy will give you your plow skill which can increase when you charge up. So let me come out here and find a spot to do so. Switch over to that. Okay, cool. Let's see if I can find, there we go, a spot. Instead of just, you know, hitting and doing just one thing, I can sit and charge and go to one, and this would actually go to three by three at level two. There may be a level three version of these skills that I don't, but I have yet to see it. Um, the water fairy will give you the same for watering. You know, level one upgrade, boom. And so you can do the whole, etc. The wind fairy will upgrade your harvesting. And again, same thing, press and hold. Harvest a large area. And you'll see which fairy it is. They'll show up when they help you. Uh, finally, the Earth Fairy. I don't have any big rocks on here to demonstrate. But those big rocks that you have on your uh, farm at the start, and even the ones that you get as you upgrade the farm's space. I can't afford the next one right now. It's 25,000 villa. But probably be into this area. You'll have those large rocks, and that, that'll unlock with the Earth Fairy. You also unlock, you know, tools above and beyond the, you know, processing machines, which is like these sprinklers here. There's a level one and a level two over here. Uh, you'll unlock the ability to use this, where if you've got an accessory like this one that has that open space with dash, 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 you can... Fuse it with another one and get something else. So you can blend accessories and make your perfect personal accessory and so on. So you unlock a lot through the fairies. So definitely do a lot of harvesting, a lot of fishing. Let's see, what else do they give you stuff for? Cooking, craft, you know, so you coming over here to your kitchen, you'll get your recipes from various places, including. Uh, buying them from the general stores, doing quests. There's a side quest in each city, or there's like a, a bar or a tavern where they ask you to cook recipes. 
and they'll give you money and recipes and so on for them. So you can do, you know, per city out right here. And you can see the ones that I've crafted versus the ones I haven't. But, you know, cooking upgrades things, let's see, and each one will tell you. So you got your harvesting, these things, cooking. Uh, when they give you a new thing, like the dessert maker, I think this one has the juice thing, like the flour mill, farming, fermenting barrel, turn bells, et cetera, you can update these. So usually when you get a new fairy, you've done a whole lot of their stuff, so you can get several levels upgraded. You know, fortifying your weapons, fixing ladders, destroying areas with your bombs once you unlock those. Uh, I think the Earth Fairy has one for, yeah, building rapport with all your friends. You know, there's 10 levels to each one. It's just like the Persona things. Uh, Karanoid, this is a, uh, I believe that's the name of the special dungeon. Yeah, clear 10 floors. Which happens on Quietus. There is, we found this during one of my streams over here on the opposite side of the farm is a old well. Most of the time, too dark to see anything inside the well. There is a teleport right next to it, which is good. When quietness happens, it is a day. Um, you can still come out. You can check your farm. Every, every crop that's out here will be wilted and you can sell each you can gather all those up and sell them for about five gorilla each but the real reason you come you come out here is to go to the well which will then be glowing it'll have a purple glow through it and i'll do a better another video on that in probably next week once i get past all this and i get to that day in game i'm still on my first autumn but this will go purple, and it's a, a secret dungeon that works kind of like the uh, uh, various, you know, five-level like, gauntlet kind of things from, like, Legend of Zelda series and so on. Um, beyond that, you've got your fishing. We I'll get more in-depth on that when I've unlocked more places in the game. I'm only in Chapter 4. But, you know, you can fish here. You can fish elsewhere. Um, Still can't go to the other side of that for some reason. But yeah, you'll you'll have different fish from different places, different seasons, etc. Um, that said, some of the more advanced stuff is while Lethe's uh, general store will change what it has over time, the other cities, because they're seasonally themed. Uh, will be specific to the, that city, and they'll sometimes have seeds, well, always have seeds that Lethe doesn't pick up. So, for example, Namia is the town of Spring. And we just kind of hit this up in my most recent stream. And you'll have seeds here, like the straw buddy seeds that you didn't see in the, or in the Namian tomatoes that you saw up there. But there's also your tree for Spring in here that you can't get in Lethe. Uh, so you have, you know, Tingle Radish, Nemean Tomatoes, Straw Buddies, your Wisty Peach, peach Seed Sapling. Here's those Nectar Cane Seeds that I was talking about for the water thing. Yeah, you can get your Union Onions and your Carob Seeds over in Left A in Spring, but the rest of these are unique to this location. It's the same with Shatola. You'll have season or summer seeds there that you can only get there. Arjen or Arjean or Arjen or however you want to say it is your winter city. And then Lethe is, as far as I can tell right now, the fall city. Um, I know that there's more chapters beyond just the current one, but there's not a lot of places I can see where I can progress the story or, you know, further. So the dungeon I'm currently doing will probably unlock more places past it. That said, you do have things. Um, most things you can harvest you know, just once or once per day for the recurring ones, but then you'll have trees like these and like the Lococo nuts that you saw up on the hill where you can harvest them three times 
And the ones that are like this will regrow every it's every other day or every three days. Your other trees you can harvest once per day, but they regrow every single day. And as far as I can tell, trees do not die. Like I was talking earlier about like, you know, your rainbow beans, your Nemeans, the, the ones that say can't be reharvested. Those will die after so many ones. The trees, I have not seen that happen. So that's kind of your basics. You'll have your various crafting tools. So the some of the first ones you'll unlock will be your feed maker, which you can throw in. Uh, let's come over here and I'll see if I can find everything that you can throw in. I'll have it here. I know for a fact you can throw in. nothing on this page. Your grass seeds, which will all do a specific thing. Your dress lettuce. Uh, I don't know if carrots can do it. All right, so the wheats. More corn. I believe that's the limit of what you can throw in there. And you might find other things you can throw in, but yeah. So you'll have like your more corn, your stellar wheat. Those will definitely make your, those will make your cluff owl feed. Uh, grass, I know for a fact to make sure your goat will forget what it's called feed. And I think the carrots and the lettuce do that as well, but I could be wrong. But this is where you get the feed for your little over here things for your, you know, your pet, your cluck owl, and you know, you, you have heart limits on these that increase their chances of things. And it's your cluck owl, and what is this one called? The wolves. And you'll come over here to put your feet in if you've got it when they have, you know, when they start out their, their babies and they have to grow up, but then they'll have your milk. Oh, hey, there you go. And that's a good example. As you increase their affection, they increase their chances of giving you quality stuff. They also increase their chances of dropping stuff like this, which is a silent or splendid horn for the woolums and premium feathers, which you can see. Oh, that's a different one than I last saw. But these are just things you, you sell. They'll drop. I would say you can put those and just sell those and make money, you know. Even if you don't sell the eggs and the milk and you're using those as ingredients. So that's your livestock thing and feed. So one of the first things you'll get is your flour mill. You put in three wheat to make one thing of flour. Uh, you'll soon get it. The fermenting barrel is also one of the first ones. You just put in basically all of these and you get different kinds of juices. Let's see if I have a list. I'll pull up my encyclopedia, actually. So you've got your vegetable juices, your hop juices. I don't know what this one is. Tomato juice. You can make lemon juice, coconut juice, fruit ju berry juice, so on. So you'll probably have different like fruit juices and other types of juice that you can make, depending on what you put in there. Most of like the what I've got here. Let's see. These will make vegetable juice. So grape juice, I can put one of those in, and that'll probably make a wine or a grape juice, and so on. That one uses one. Uh, cheese maker uses three milk. If you use, you can all, you have to do all the same quality with these. If the ones that take three or more, but that you get the higher qualities. Uh, you get a smoker. These over here all get done one in one day. A smoker is, I want to say, about a week. And you throw in meat. And maybe fish. I haven't done that. And there's something else you can throw in there. Let's take a look what it says. But you kind of get the basics here. We're talking about with me. So fermenting barrel. Yeah, fruits, vegetables, make drinks, etc. Some smoker, meat or eggs. So I'll throw throw an egg in there, and I'll make that. Jam maker, you make fruits, vegetables, etc., and you make these jams. It's, I believe, three of them, and it takes about three or four days. 
and they sell for about three times as much. Uh, your, your level two ones will make you use either nine or ten of the item, depending on what it is, to make more of the items. Uh, mayonnaise maker, self-explanatory. You throw in eggs, makes mayonnaise. Dessert maker. This is where you take those honey flowers to make syrup, nectar cane to make sugar, or the coconuts to make your coconut milk. If you're doing coconuts in the uh, fermenting barrel, you get coconut juice, which is this over here, which is one of the, a way to get rid of one of the three types of damage over time effects, your continuous physical damage. Um, Let's see, what else have I missed? Jam maker, dessert maker, spice maker. As I talked about earlier, you grind the peppers from your rebel peppers or your curry herbs to make those. You unlock your set synthesis jar, your sprinklers. Uh, throughout the game, you also find little fence that recipes for building up your farm, just for decoration. But here we go. Because I harvested those chestnuts, I can upgrade this. And now I'll get the fire fairy stuff. Let's see what that does. As well as stamina down, so I use less stamina when I'm plowing. So this is how the game compensates you for, you never increase what your stamina is, but you can decrease out how much you use it outside of combat stuff. So that'll give me the fire fairy stone, and now we'll get plow stamina down and farm level up again. And of course I've got my coconuts here, harvested. As you, you see, as you do one, it gets you more, and so on. So definitely okay, we'll take a look at these, find out what you can do. And I probably have fire fairy stone. I don't know what this does. We'll have to look into that in another video once I have all four. But yeah, you can see you gain things like your mining gathering knowledge, your plant skill knowledge. Stamina down, destroy skill, this is how you destroy your rocks. Uh, your harvest skill increases, and so on. I don't know if the, the charge levels ever get up beyond level two. I haven't seen it. But maybe, you know, doesn't look like there's a whole lot left. I gotta do 15 more of these for my next level up with the Fire Fairy. And you can see I've got seven, so there's multiple levels of each of these that don't show yet. So, you know, I'll come back after I beat the game and I've done everything, and we'll look at what some of the more advanced stuff is. But this is kind of a intro on how you improve your farm, I guess. You know, definitely, you know, complete all the quests in a certain side, you know, or all the side quests and towns will get you things. So fire is Lethe, wind is Nemean. Water is uh, Shatola and Earth is Argene or Argen, however you want to say it. It's also, you know, harvesting your various fruits. And as Lethe, or as the summer or the seasons change, there will be seeds in Lethe that you can't find in the respective city for it as well, I believe. I could be wrong. But, you know, and so I can't really show that to you guys because I don't have a Lethe is the closest thing to an auto city. But we'll take a look at that as we go on. And you can see one, two, three, fifteen. Anyways, that's it for today. This uh as of recording, this will be go up tomorrow. And then again, Saturday, we're gonna go live. Continuing in chapter three. Let me know where you want me to go first. The story does expect you to go in the order of, you know, wind from uh Nimea, then water from Shatola, and then finally Earth. But you have access to all three areas. It's just a matter of level differences, and you can grind to get around that and upgrade your weaponry and so on. Next time, next week, we'll look into... You know, we'll figure it out. We'll take a look at it. I'll it might be up the uh, special dungeon. Kind of a walkthrough on that. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think, and I will catch you next time. All right, bye.